Jeff Rowe, like J-E-F-F, -F, like in Frank Rowe, R-O. He came from a breeder situation uh, over in the Monroe area. He came in, came to us with a couple, two or three other dogs. He is like a little Maltese mix of stuff, or maybe a pure, pure bread Maltese, I'm not real sure, but uh, he's kind of skittish because, you know, breeder situation, they don't get a lot of con human contact, so, or as much as a regular dog. So, but he's really coming around. He's very, very submissive when you approach him, but he does give little kisses. Yeah, give little kisses. And I'm a happy little guy. I don't know much about a leash, but I'm working on that. Um, it's okay. I'm gonna let you down in just a minute. See how uh, submissive he is and, and, sh and hand shy. Very hand shy. So he needs a home that, you know, goes slow with him. And, you know, soft voices, soft, approachable hands, uh, no fast movements and all that until he gets accustomed to a new, his new world outside of a breeder situation. He's now neutered, up to date on all shots. He's heart one negative. Where's your good boy? He was very matted. Uh, the breeder shaved him down before he came to us, which... came to us uh, through a middleman, so I don't even don't know who the breeder is, which that's not uncommon either. Uh, they usually do come to us through a middle person, uh, because breeders don't really trust rescues, and vice versa. So, you want to get down? You gonna mess with my brush? How are you with a brush? There's lots of smells out here. Okay, there we go. There we go. Can you walk around a little bit? Whoever adopts him is definitely going to have to keep an eye on him because if he were to uh, escape or any, you know, he would be a bolter. He would, uh, and he'd be one that uh, would be very hard to get back. So he needs a safe, secure, loving, patient home. Right, Jeff? 